Hello? Hello? I'm getting started here. I just need a second to find everything. Anybody there? Is anyone there? Hi, is anyone there? Okay, good to see you, Adam. Uh, yeah, a little uh, dehydrated, so I'm gonna take some sips of water every now and then, and if I have to step out, I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, hi, Suavicados. Um, pain is, is, it comes and goes. Um, I'm on a lot of, uh, just taking Tylenol right now, it's all I can do. Um, yeah, uh, I want as much input on this game as we can get because there's a lot of choices to be made, a lot of fun to be had. This is one of Square's most experimental. It never made it to the West. Um, it's the brainchild of seven different uh, man manga artists who at the time were contest winners, up-and-comers. And two names on this list will be very familiar to, to, to some 
uh, aficionados of, of manga and anime, uh, one name, uh, the third name, will be uh, more famous to people who uh, are familiar with some of the more infamous corners of, of uh, the manga industry. But, uh... Um... <clears throat> I'm waiting to see how many people we can get in here before we start. Um... Uh, Yokushimamura actually did all the music to this game. Um, she's most famous these days for doing the Kingdom Hearts titles. Um, she also did the soundtrack to Street Fighter 2, pretty much single-handedly. So all the music in this game was composed by one person. So we have a choice between um, seven starting characters. We can either do uh, the wrestler, the uh, psychic with giant robot, um, the kung fu master looking for a disciple, the um, caveman and his gorilla friend, uh, the ninja uh, fighting during the end of the Bakumatsu. Uh, he's trying to end the Boshin War. And hi, Tommy. Hi, Suavicados. Hi, Helen. Good to see you. I don't see uh, Pyropiece yet. I, I hope they show up. I, I know they're having a hard time. Um, let me post some links in the Discord. Um, yeah, so we have the Ninja, the Wrestler, um, the, uh, uh, the Caveman, um, the Psychic, um, the Robot, and the cowboy. So cast your votes now. Who do you want to see, uh, whose story do you want to see first? Eventually all seven will unite for the final, uh, final ninth story that comes after completing a secret eighth story. I actually sent the, um, a cheap copy of this, a reproduction copy of this, to uh, the Video Game Valley a while back, and it hasn't shown up yet, but uh, hopefully we'll get it eventually. So uh, when it shows up on the v on VGV, try to act surprised. <laughs> There's like a hundred different ways to go through this game, so um, when it gets played on, on VGV, we'll have a, a different perspective, I imagine. So I don't see any votes yet. Can you play a ragtag street urchin who was secretly a sky princess who has switched at birth to protect her from goblets? Uh, no. Uh, I'd say the closest thing we get to that is the, uh, um... The closest we get to that is the uh, gonna, gonna be the uh, the psychic with the giant robot. The kung fu master is gonna be an interesting one. Uh, we get a choice between three disciples, so you all get to pick which disciple we pick. If we go for that one. Alright, so we've got a, a vote for Kung Fu.
I hope Pyro Piece is going to show up. Yeah, I want to cheer them up. Yeah, hi, Helen. It's good to see you. Alright, I'm gonna get started here. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna flip around through these so you can get a look at them. Oh, hey, Pyropus, good to see you. Well, we were just hoping to cheer you up. Yeah, we wanted to say hi. Um, because I, I saw you weren't doing so well this morning. Um, give you something to look at here and enjoy the story. So this is a game made by Squaresoft. It never made it to the West, so this is a fan translation of it. All right, got one vote for the psychic, one vote for the uh, um, for the monk. Um, so we have seven different stories here. Once you complete them all, there's a secret eighth story, and they um, these seven uh, fight for the final ninth story. But we've got, yeah, this one labeled Mecha here is our psychic character. This is the ninja. He, he's uh, fighting during the Japanese Bakumatsu period, the, the Boshin War. Um, which uh, led up to the end of the feudal era, started the, the Meiji era and the emperor's, uh, the new J J Japanese imperial rule. Psychic, okay. Uh, monk, robot, wrestler, cowboy, caveman. All right, so we're doing the psychic. Hi, Justin. In the not-so-distant future, there is a boy with supernatural powers, a boy with mind-reading abilities. Will the ancient devil robot Buriki Dio truly revive? Adam voted for the monk, so we had two votes for the, uh... Uh, we had two votes for the... Kung Fu Master, and three for the, the Psychic. So we're going with the Psychic. Alright, so, are we happy? What do we say to the Psychic Man inside of our head? Not really. Okay. Too bad. But your life belongs to you. Oops, I was preaching, wasn't I? Well, listen to my story. So for who's, those who missed the introduction, each story in this game was planned out by a different up-and-coming manga author. Two of them have since gone on to become quite famous, um, but all of them were contest winners in the late 80s. And they spent about five years planning this game. Um, where are you, Daddy? So each author worked on a different section of the game. We're going to see a lot of dads get killed in this in this game, unfortunately. Dad! One of the yeah, the only element that really ties these chapters together is that Yoko Shimamura. Uh, of Kingdom Hearts and Street Fighter 2 fame did the music. Uh, she's really talented. By the time I got there, he'd passed away. He'd been fighting the Crusader gang. As captain of the riot police. Unaware that this was waiting for him. So we started out at the orphanage. Taiko. So, now we have a new friend. Now tell everyone your name. Um, so, the default name is Akira. Um, and yes, we do have psychic powers. So, uh, does everyone think the name Akira is okay, or do you want to rename him? Pyro 2.
They actually have uh, Japanese and Chinese characters. Uh... Uh, here. Um, and the reason for the Chinese characters is, of course, because of the Kung Fu chapter. Uh, they wanted you to be able to give the characters in that chapter uh, Chinese names rather than Japanese ones. Um, I don't see numbers on here. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and spell out the word two and see if that works. Oh, not enough characters. Hmm. We'll go with Pyroto. Adam says we should have named him Marcus. Okay. All right. This is Pyroto and his sister Kaori. Uh, Kaori is very sick, unfortunately. Everyone be nice to them, okay? Okay. What about you, Watanabe? Uh, okay. Ever since I started living with my sister Kaori at Chibiko House, I've become able to use mysterious powers, like the ability to read people's minds and move objects without touching them. Try pressing the Y button. You can see into people's minds. And you don't get it, huh? Try pressing the Y button. Okay, good. You can see into my mind. If you had these kinds of powers, how would you use them in my case? I love the music in this chapter. It'll get stuck in your head. Very jazzy. So this is us as a young adult. Uh, we've grown up. Still hang out at the orphanage a lot, though. Uh, our day job is we're ta takoyaki salesmen, I think. So we got a stand over here where we sell octopus balls. So here you see this guy says, I love parks. And then if you press the Y button to read his mind, he says, Ditching work like this is the charm of the working man. Here's an old man. What the? Are you trying to beat up old people or something? This kid's one of those skull punks, too. Don't treat me like a kid. That Tayaki guy hasn't come to yet. What? How dare you? Your eyes are as blue as window cleaner. What an area. I'm sure that's what the dating strategy guide said to say to her. Kids these days have no respect for the people around them. When I was young, I'd do this and that for the missus. Stop following me! He might be a kidnapper like Mom was talking about. So I don't recall the exact details, but I think... Um, uh, the bad guys are kidnapping kids to use to melt down to make psychic machines. They want to raise some kind of ancient uh, uh, devil that lives in the lake. If we take him back, our work's done for today. Now I ain't gonna help you with your work. What? So this is our uh, our mentor here. Uh, he funds the orphanage. They're right. He's. What do you want? I'm just passing through. I'm the Taiyaki guy. So, right now, my only um, psychic powers are I can reduce their psychic attack power, uh, I can try to force them to skip a turn, um, but otherwise, I can attack them regularly, and I do have a heal. But, uh, yeah. Pyro 2 is going to be fairly weak to start with. So 
we're gonna heal. That's pretty much the idea, yeah, is that they melt those kids. Alright, we got the mini boss. Now we just have to take out his minions. I'm gonna keep healing, uh, Pyro here. Nice psychic attack there. It takes a couple of more extra turns to, to set up a lot of the psychic attacks. Thanks, Matsu. Ah, be careful, Pyroto. They've been doing weird stuff lately. Don't they know that I ain't worth any ransom? How's your sister? Nah, Kyori's doing a little better, thanks. Ow! Ah, you're hurt. I'll give you a lift. What are those guys planning? The Crusaders are probably involved in the recent abductions. I think ancient... Demon gods, yeah. I think little kids taste better. Oh, we got a theme song here. I forgot about this. Go, go, Boriki Dayo, Ima wa mukashi no baba airemeya. Hagane no kobushi ga tenmo tsuku. Igyo no machine wa tausu tame. Oh, Yes, I love that our mecha gets a theme song. Say hi to everyone for me. Hey, you came all the way out here. You should see them yourself. Later. Alright, so here's the orphanage. Pyroto, you're all bruised! You were fighting again, weren't you? Oh, just leave me alone. Come on now, let me clean you up. I'm not a little kid, Tayoko, you know. That's better. Oh, the laundry's piled up again. Oh, thank you, Pyroto. I don't think so. I was trying to do my best impression of that, uh, of the guy who sang all those 70s theme songs on... Uh, for anime. Kiori is taking a nap now. Don't die, Tarokichi. Oh, you were fighting again, weren't you? Here's all the kids. Yeah, Misawa! Hey, did you lose a fight? You're gonna get revenge. I'm coming too. Oh, nah. He's reading my mind again. You do nothing but fight. Do you realize how much you worry, Taiko? Go, 
Tomisawa! So, uh, this girl Yuki here is obsessed with a uh, masked wrestler named Misawa. So she likes to beat up the other kids and pretend to be a wrestler. You need to go get some medicine from Taiko's room. Me? But I just wanted to watch wrestling. Yeah, Misawa! Hey, that's my seat. There's a running gag in this game, too, that's a little dark, where uh, one thing tied between the seven chapters, uh, and even the eighth, is that there's always a little kid um, named Watanabe who has to witness his father die in some horrible manner. Sometimes it's comical. Very strange running thing for a running, them to do as a running back. All right, I got my psychic power blocking shower cap. No, for real, I can wear the shower cap. And it blocks psychic powers. All right, so this is being emulated. Like I said, it is a fan translation. Uh, I'm going to say frequently, because uh, it's very easy to get killed in this game without really noticing what you're doing. Fortunately, you can save the game at any time. Um, but yeah, give me a second to look up, find my walkthrough here, because this game can be a little obtuse at times. Who's still with us? Oh, I was going to look up uh, which artist worked on this one. Let's see here. Live a live creator list. My favorite chapter is actually the, the robot chapter, because that one was done by Yumi Tamamura. It said it was Yoshi Yoshihide Fujiwara, right? Okay, let's see here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Yoshihide Fujiwara does the Kung Fu chapter. Osamu Ishiwara. Uh, author of BB, I think, is the one that was responsible for this. Um, BB was a manga series um, about uh, a motorcycle gang, if I recall correctly. Not really popular at uh, outside of the United States, I think. I mean, outside of Japan. Um, but uh, quite popular in its time in Japan. Where could it be? So they've got all their beds here. It's a nice little orphanage, really. Uh, reminds me of... If anyone's uh, watched uh, or played the Yakuza games, yeah, this is kind of one of those orphanages. <laughs> with Crazy Biker Dad that helps everyone out. Okay, I'm trying to remember where we're supposed to go next. We always have to remember to read the mines in a certain order in some places, because sometimes certain uh, clues you don't get unless you uh, happen to be reading people's minds.
Let's see here. There we go. All right. Okay, so yeah, we have to find out about our sister's pet. Uh, her pet is a, a tortoise. The tortoise is apparently uh, uh, quite old and is dying. So I'm trying to remember how we get... Her, her, her tortoise's name is Taro. So we're going to turn Taro into a cyborg. So we get a, a, a cyborg ninja turtle as a companion. Man, I wish I could eat one right now. I could start on Thursday. Oh, okay, we do we, we have to watch the pro wrestling match. <laughs> the battle to end all battles of nation, uh, nationwide pro wrestling. Will it be Misawa or Muto? There is no limit of the number of rounds. And there's the bell! Don't lose, Misawa! Elbow spin! What are you doing, Yuki? Bro's hurt. I haven't done anything. Hey, I told you not to fight. Uh, here's your medicine. Who's winning the match? Hey, I'm sitting there. Yay, yeah, Misawa! Hey, that's mean. Oh yeah, Kiri's worried that Terokichi isn't feeling it. Yeah, you know, it's Kazu's red eared turtle. Oh, sorry to hear that about your earbuds, King Wagman. Hey, Pyropus, we just watched a wrestling match. That's pretty much all you missed. Even if the flesh has died, Tarokichi's spirit isn't dead. Oh, I know. The antique dealer, Toei. I'll go talk to him. But yeah, notice Kaori kind of gets her own room. She's sick all the time. Hi, Daniel. Good to see you. Yeah, I I'm happy to have you with us. Uh, we've got people on Twitch. We've got people on YouTube. Good to, good to see it. I just, I felt like we got to do... Get back to some kind of routine as fast as possible, otherwise I'm going to go crazy. So the map has random encounters like these. A lot of time they're going to try to send these uh, hordes of robot cars after us. But as long as we kill the guy with the remote control, it's not a problem. <laughs> hey, Adam. I, I I would like that very much if he does, but I, I don't think that's going to happen today. He's very busy working on, on part three, I think, from what he was saying. Yeah, Pyropus, it's kind of like uh, that bit from Batman the Animated Series, huh? All right, we got to level up. Heavenly Image! No, it doesn't work on the robots, that's right.
Okay, that lariat hurts. I wonder if I kill this guy if the... I think those two... Oh, I was thinking Batman, the animated series, yeah. Where they had the villain that, that had the toy cars. And they had Adam West had to help uh, Batman take him down. I'm trying to think of which house... Am I supposed to go to meet Dr. Toy now, or... Nope. Somebody's hacking me. Okay, I can now heal my party members as well as myself. Okay, I see. See, this is not made super clear. He's in the toilet. So we have to mind scan him while he's in the toilet. Okay, so this is Dr. Toei. He's very weird. Oh, you're here! Wash your hands, dude! So, what you need? Uh, well... What? Ah, oh, leave it to me. I studied the facility. Thus, I have the wisdom passed down from ancient times. Let's give new life to Taro, or whatever it's called. Let's go to Chibikilo Palace using my homemade transporter. And we have Mad Scientist. Ah, let me just tweak it a little bit. I hope this works. Wait, don't get on! What kind of mic setup do I use? Uh, I have a Samson Go mic. Uh, it's sort of for basic recording. Um, I, I don't feel good. You can go on ahead. So we go in here, we can find the toilet. What has science done this time? Well, apparently it's created a teleporter that blew up. Good to see you, VGV. How you doing? I'm, I'm really trying to, to get back in, in the pattern of things, and hopefully that gets rid of the depression. So I... Yeah, that's right. That power doesn't work on them, but it might... No, we'll put a few of them to sleep. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to break through this line of cars. Uh, VGV, we're playing uh, Live a Live, which I, I sent a, a copy of this game, actually, to the valley. Copying many files at the moment. That's good to hear. I, I just want to congratulate you again on, on finishing part two of the, the Charlie really cheered me up when I needed it most. Um, yeah, so we're playing Live a Live. I actually sent a copy of this to the Valley uh, for cheap. I found a repro that has the same translation patch applied. But uh, things being what they are right now, it might not show up for a while. Uh, you can play this game about a hundred different ways, so what you're seeing here will not spoil anything for you. 
I think it's actually supposed to be pronounced live alive if I if I if I'm reading the uh because I think I've seen people say that the the, the kana is riva arriva something like that it's 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 not live a live so much as it is live alive I don't know a blue yeti I, I think that's supposed to be a pretty good map mic too yeah all right do I go to the hospital next or is this city hall this is city hall I think This has the crazy experiments. Hi, Glorious Royal. Okay, let's see here. Is Dr. Toei already here? Don't worry, Toei said he'd help. Hello, everybody! My transporter wasn't working well, so I walked here. Your transporter exploded. Hmm. We have to reduce Taro or whatever to a liquefied state ASAP. Now to bring him back to life as a fluid android. Fluid android? First, we insert an electrode. Pyroto, plug this into a power outlet, will you? An outlet? Let's see. Don't touch that! Yeah, we're making a tortoise android. He's gonna be our, our ninja turtle. Okay. Dr. Pepper android. Where's the outlet? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna electrocute Dr. Taro here. He's a mad scientist, he's used to it. Uh, neat, I guess. Kaori, thank you. What? Don't follow me. We did it! <coughs> This is spectacular! Huh? Wait a minute. Perhaps Buriki Dio is the same as this structure. Yes, that's it! Nap time, everyone! That's Tayoko, so yeah, she's the... Mostly runs the orphanage. The director just kind of... Uh, owns the place. There's no way I can go to sleep! trying to think. So we can equip Taro with different arms. So right now he's got uh, bowling balls attached to wires. So he just has giant flail arms. Okay. I think I have to round up the kids now.
Yeah. All right. So I have to go to their bedrooms individually, ask them what they want for dinner before they'll for their little midnight snack. And one of the kids is missing. Can I have a snack? Yeah. I gotta write. I think I have to read their mind to find out what they want. Tayaki. Ah! Kazu touched my butt! Can I have a snack? Come to the bathroom later. We can talk about you know what then. Can I have a snack? Laundry's done. Hey, it's a director's boxers. Great, we stole the old man, old man's uh, underwear. Mission accomplished. Game over. We did it, people. I think the shower cap is stronger. Yes, the shower cap provides better defense than the uh, boxers. Oh, we can put them on our robot for armor. Uh, Justin, I'm not sure when, uh, let's see here, Phantasmagoria. Uh, let's see here. Um, well, definitely one of these nights after, after the VGV. Uh, if you want to do it tonight, maybe that might work. Um, I do have to make sure to uh, um, get up at a certain time tomorrow morning because I have uh, teledoc appointments with um, uh, psychiatrists who are trying to help me with the mental end of things, obviously. Okay. Yeah, I, I would think tonight would be good. Um, if you're going to just start at 10 p.m. Or, or 11 p.m., that's fine. Okay, so Watanabe here, our, our dirty boy, has stolen a pair of Tayoko's panties and is willing to sell it to us. So I say, hey, that's a Watanabe's pants. That's not the panties. Haha, ha, wacky Japanese humor. <laughs> All right, so, um, I'm trying to remember where I get the snacks they want. I think I have to go back to the, the park and talk and go to the Taiyaki stand. He's calling me a pervert. Komotatsu. Kero. What a weird religion. So if I remember correctly, there's a lake behind here. Yeah, you see this thing here? This, uh, spoiler alert, this is a giant robot. In Yakuza, you never see what happens at Sunflower, but the, the orphanage that you open up uh, in uh, the third game that uh, is at uh, um, uh, you do wind up uh, spending a lot of time there. But no, you never actually uh, get to go to Sunflower.
Kiwami, yeah. Have you done zero already? I, I would start with zero. If you have not played uh, Yakuza Zero, yeah, that's that's the definitely a good place to start. It gives you perspective on why Majima is well, Majima. He beat zero. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you'll actually get to revisit a lot of uh, Yakuza 0 if you play Yakuza Kiwami 2. It's pretty great. Oh, one of the cars exploded. Alright. Uh, no, I might want to run. Adam is over here asking how much the panties cost. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. That's funny. Uh-oh. That might be another run. Unless I can get Taro over there. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have saved. Yeah. I I'm pretty screwed. All right, run. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I can put a few of them to sleep. Oh shoot! I'll be right back. I have to. I have to.
Okay, I gotta grab some hydration really quick. Oh, Justin, sorry to hear you go. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right back, Adam. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm just, I've gotta, give me one second. There was some brief unpleasantness there, but I'm back. Uh, hope I didn't lose too many people. <laughs> uh, I'm back, all right? Let's do this thing. Who's still watching? Say hi. Okay, we got someone to go to sleep. Okay, just Pyropus and Tommy. Good to see you. Oh. No. Alright, we got him. Give him an elbow to the face. Hey, we hit level 7. Our psychic power is growing. I can make hell images now. Trying to remember where I was going. Let's see here. We have our Ninja Turtle. Keep going back to the bathroom? Alright, trade items. See, I don't know how anyone was supposed to figure out some of this stuff. Some of the chapters are extremely self-explanatory, and others make no sense. Alright, we stole her jeans. Got her pants. Now he gets caught for stealing the laundry. 
so you were the one who put Watanabe up to this. Cut it out! Hey! It's a Taiko punch. That's me. Alright, so we can steal our foster mother's clothing and put it on our robot. And now we've learned how to do her punch. We can actually use her punching style. We didn't punch the kid. She did. Taiko did. Um, so we watched her punch the kid, learn how she punches, and now we can use her punch technique. Okay, I'm not sure how I get the snacks here. I think we have to go back to, to the lab. The child puncher, I think, is, is definitely uh, the uh, uh, woman who runs the orphanage, yeah. And, and she hit him because he was stealing her underwear. Make of that what you will. Oh, it's the docks, I think. I'm not supposed to be here yet. This is where our father died. I guess I'm supposed to come back here and talk to the... Oh, there's another staircase leading down. More staircases leading down. And I think... Does this go on infinitely? I must be missing something. Ah, oh, nope. Here we go. What is this? It's just as I thought! Bariki Dio is controlled by psychokinesis! These days only liquefied humans have powers like that. Liquefied humans, their physical strength is weakened, and spiritual power is greatly amplified. There are but two ways to get Bariki Dio to move. Manipulate it with psychic powers, or inject liquefied humans. Second powers, huh? Well, I can handle that. Hmm? You're going to try moving it? Yeah. Well, come upstairs. So this is Buriki Dio. We will be getting control of this giant robot. And he does have a theme song, which we will get to hear. There's the broken teleporter. And there we go. Okay! First touch the pink statue, read the book, and then strike the xylophone and touch the blue mask. Then you offer a prayer to Breaky Dino. Finally squat down to the toilet. Just make sure to wash your hands first. Okay, what was it again? Touch the pink statue, read the book. I should write this down.
Crack xylophone. Touch blue mask. Then offer prayer to Bariki Dio. Then finally toilet. Alright, where's the pink statue? That's the pink statue. Alright. Next is we read the book. Strike xylophone. Blue mask. How do we offer the prayer? I guess we just have to go down to the robot. Yeah, touch the book, read the statue. Alright. Go pray. Namu. Namu. Now we use the toilet. We have to wash our hands though first though, alright? That should be the activation sequence. We go in here. All right. The toilet is now an elevator. Start the music! And we're in control. There are five sushis here. Give them a try. Boo. Boriki Dio. We are not a very good mecha pilot yet. We tried all five switches already. Didn't I? Looks like it's not gonna work. Try the left switch, okay.
Oh, no, we did do all five of them. All right, I guess I'm just supposed to leave at this point. Well, looks like it won't work. Bring me stuff you find. I might be able to invent something from it. Hey, neat! Hmm? I got it, I got it! But yeah, basically we can give him random garbage we find and he'll turn it into something useful. Some of his mad science must involve tailoring. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Take random garbage and turning it to something useful is the best. All right, let's see here. Put on the new denim jacket he gave us. So basically he's taken our foster mom's jeans and turned them into a denim jacket. That's some mad science tailoring right there. Alright, learn some new psychic attacks. Homebrew D&D race with the ability to entire culture center on taking random garbage and turning it to something useful. Sounds like a good homebrew. Alright, we go back to the orphanage at this point. I'm still not sure how we're supposed to get that, the, the snacks those kids want. Eek! Pyroto! Kenichi, help! Get out of the way! Alright, so they're stealing more kids, I think, to melt down. Alright, here comes Matsu again. He's gonna help out. Hey, what happened? Ah, oh, the Crusaders took Gazu! What? Wait for me! Wow, what nice weather. It's perfect weather for motorcycles. Hey, watch out. Sorry about this guy. You, come too. 
Alright, so we just stole a motorcycle, no big deal. We still have our Ninja Turtle with us. hiding. Yes, exactly, Adam. It's called commandeering. They're supposed to be on the dock here somewhere. Well, this looks like the end of the dock. Hmm. Anybody see what I'm missing here? Oh, there we go. Bro! 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 I'm gonna guess that was Anaki in the original. getting in our way! I'll kill you! Let's try a flame image. Taro Punch! Alright, got some psychic flames going. Not bad. Why are you kidnapping people? I ain't talking. I have to take 2,000 people to the facility to their commander. It couldn't be. Matsu is awesome! The army of the research facility. I go to the facility? I'm going home. Oh, we got a Komatsu here. Alright. Taro Punch! Uh oh, I got turned stone. Let's, uh, teleport. Maybe it's easier if I take the path of least resistance here? I don't know.
I think... Okay, so the big bulldozer keeps turning me into stone. Cars are blowing up on me again. That's got it. There's always a way through. Come to my house, I'll give you some food. Fortunately, I don't have any milk. I'd want to be enchanted by a person I love. Like chocolate. These shrooms will clear your mind. We really can depend on Mr. Matsu after all. His dad. We still don't know where he is. I fight with a tiger driver. Kenichi? Oh, he went to go see Kaori. Wow, Kenichi's so great. Kameen from Daryl. Uh, which character is Kameen? Mr. Matsu? He he went home. Oh no, I can't let him read my mind about Matsu. He said he might not come back. He said not to mention it. That jerk. Trying to be cool. I'm going to. To the research facility. Do you have any business at the facility? Nope. We don't have an appointment, but... Yeah, we got business here. Hey, what are you doing? Burn! Alright, so we're fighting men in black with psychic powers. They blocked me when I tried to do that. Looks like I may have to resort, resort to just elbowing them in the face. Yeah, they're using all their powers to weaken mine. Debuffs are no fun. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Cayman! Did you mean Cayman for Dorfman? Yeah, everyone loves Cayman. Cayman's the best. Alright, Mr. Security Guard, you get an elbow in the face. All right, so how many of you would just, I mean, the second you saw the ninja, the robot turtle with the giant uh, flail arms would just be like, they don't pay me enough for this.
All right, might need to do a heal here. Burn! What are you doing here? Okay, so if I kill the man in black, the Doberman just runs. That's good to know. What do you want? Let's see. Here. Actually, I can read her mind to see if she knows where Matsu is. Hey, he's kind of cute. Really? Okay. Who are you? He looks pretty dumb. Okay, throwing knives, hand grenades. All normal things to find in an office building. Yes, this is definitely better than the real Men in Black video games. I want a raise. The secret project, what could it be? Hey, what are you doing? Seriously, though, who here hasn't worked in an office building with hand grenades and throwing knives? They're all over the place. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. I'm going to need to get some... Tylenol in about half an hour. an extra 30 minutes doesn't make a difference. I'll be right back. I'm going to get an Advil, too. I really don't want to go back to the hospital. <laughs> I'm sure the CT scans would be negative. Just not everybody recovers from surgery as fast as everyone else. Alright. You did work in a building with hand grenades in it. Was this by any chance the Pentagon?
Alright, those guys face my wrath. Use the psychic powers to make them burn. Hey, what are you doing? You're not allowed to say. I imagine you wouldn't be able to say. That's for picking on my tortoise. Ha! Pyroto, without Matsu, you're nothing! Alright, that's a lot of guys. They must have some psychic shielding or something, because that's not doing much damage to them, huh? Alright. You're gonna get an elbow to the face, then. Taro PUNCH! Matsu. Ah, where's that you got in my way? Hey, Matsu! Hey, it's the real thing. Get ready, Pyroto. More RC cars. to the face. Taro kick! It intruders? I must alert the professor. That's a lot of dudes. How are you holding up, Pyropus? Man, trying to shoot me? Don't bring guns into this.
Blurst image videos. What are blurst image videos? Is that cursed images? I'm seriously asking, I don't know. I'm not making fun of you, I just, I don't know. Oh, blessed and cursed, okay. See, I didn't know that, I've never heard that. Alright, we hit level 10. Psychic power up. Holy blow grade. We can give him sweatpants. Alright, there we go. Blurst images. That sounds like that gag from The Simpsons where they had the, the monkeys on the typewriters. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times! That's not right. You killed our turtle, man. Area X trilogy was amazing. How far are you into it? Okay, this is not good. I'm gonna heal him. There we go. This is a particularly strong goon. Middle of authority, okay. Who's the uh, narrator for it? I think I had an audiobook where it was Bronson Pinchot doing the, uh, the narration. I was just like, yeah, not, not so much into this. I love the books, but... <laughs> Bronson Pinchot. Uh... It is him. Okay, yeah. Let's try this holy blow and see what it does to this guy. Okay, this guy's got too many hit points. What's going on here? Okay, he just knocked out the only person that's healed. Let's let's run. Bronson Pinchot was the guy from Perfect Strangers, a couple other, like, really super bad 80s sitcoms. He kind of faded into obscurity by the 90s, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, this is... see if I can sneak past him somehow, because I don't know, that one dude is really super tough. Oh, not again. I don't think this is working out. There's got to be a, another way around these guys. Some direction I didn't go before. Maybe I just have to go to the next floor. Is that is that is it as stupid as that? All right. Are these guys as strong as the other ones? Man in black. Okay, I don't think that's the same as the guy that was beating the heck out of me. Right, right, right. Okay, so we came from this way, but I didn't go through this door, did I? It's a toilet. Well, that was interesting. We found a toilet, everybody! Our mission is complete. We found the toilet. Yeah, don't mess with my turtle's psychic powers. Something tells me there's a lot the Doc can do with Napalm.
This toilet does not seem to take me to a giant robot, no. Man, security's tight. You sure are stubborn. Well, I guess with this good looks, I can't blame you. Okay. And they're not going to let me in here, I'm sure, are they? Some office ladies here. Intruders? Oh, napalm shot, throwing knives. If these top secret files were to be read by someone. Toko Tanashida died in a dispute with the Crusader. His son, Pairoto, and Lineda. Uh, his, his son, Pairoto, and daughter, Kaori, were taken to Chibiki House. Chibiko House. There are clearly a couple of issues with the translation, but it was done by fans again, so. Kozo Watanabe, Professor Sindelman's assistant. Whereabouts presently unknown. The Crusaders, an anti establishment organization. Their founder was Kenichi Matsu. I'm lost. We're gonna get through this. I have a good feeling about this. All right, so if we go in that room, that's where the big guy jumps us. Maybe I should go back to the other side of the building? Can I go back to the other side of the building? I'm using your toilet, man. What does it look like I'm doing?
I guess I have to smash my way past that one dude somehow. But am I psychically beefy enough to do it? I suppose I could throw some hand grenades at him. Grenades it is. Oh, they, uh, they all work diagonally. Okay. Oh, we killed Matsu. All right. And worse yet, I'm out of grenades. Well, he's dead, though. I mean, I'll take it. Think we'll be seeing more of that. Oh, another of these dudes? Really? Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Mokai. Turtle is a stand, remember? I mean, part five, we're talking about the same turtle here, right? Let's with another laser. Got him. All right. Alright, let's see if there's some ch chatter in the chat. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? How you feeling? Anyone else recently had a robot jam down their esophagus? I don't recommend it. How about hooks stuck up their, uh... <laughs> stuck up their stomach. I feel like after this whole experience, I'll be able to tell people Hey, I, you know, I kind of had this moment where, I, where, for a split second, I was a Cenobite. Liquefied humans are like a robot's blood. I wonder what this secret project's about. That android's not quite complete, but I have a date, so I ain't working overtime. You had a fish hook in you once. Yeah, that... that would be bad. I can't get your attention. So here's some liquefied humans. This is how they're planning on powering their giant robot. Their evil giant robot. Well, Adam, I'm, I'm not the one who had the fish hook in me. I'm, Tommy Freelance is over here telling him uh, he actually had a fish hook in him. That's got to be bad. At least with surgical hooks, they know what they're doing. Okay, VIP room is F49... 
F. Yeah, I, I would like to be able to drink the liquid humans. Who are you? Y Yamazaki! Matsu, so you're finally... Excellent. Now we have a new guinea pig. My name is Sinderman. To the living, that is. The scientist that I treated like a sweetheart turned everyone into liquefied humans. And the one who got away was that man, Toei. Komutatsu. <laughs> Do you not understand? Modern science and ancient wisdom join at the Odeo Temple. The 2,000 people will become one entity, and the great Odeo will descend onto the Inko statue. This impure world will be saved. Now, my surgery with Adam was having the hooks stuck in me, but those are surgical hooks, you know. It just, uh, you know, and have the robot jammed down my throat. <laughs> All right, so we've got this evil Buddhist priest and, and uh, this crazy mad scientist. And they're working together to turn that statue in the park into a giant evil robot possessed by an evil god they call Odio. Interesting name, Odio. We'll be hearing that name come up a lot because Odio, as it turns out, has eight different incarnations. Each of the seven stories will face a character named Odio as the final boss. Odio, of course, means hatred. You came all this way, but I can't let you leave. Here's a present for the professor. Now, I was hoping to test it with human opponents. Liquefied human robot W1. Show them your power. Yes, liquefied human tastes like iced tea. Kill. I will kill you. This is what happened to Watanabe's dad. They've turned him into this. And Taro's out. Which song from Kids in the Hall? I like the robot design. It's kind of neat how he opens up. Ooh, that, that ain't good. Odio Day, yes, I remember that. Odio Noten Day, Odio Day, Odio Noten Day. Feeding up our tapeworms. It's down to Matsu. Can he finish this guy on his own? Apparently not. May have to try that again. Bro!
All right. Let's get through this text as fast as we can. I'll try to keep Pyroto uh, alive long enough to uh, have him peel. But let's put Matsu on the front line, I guess. I need to stop in a little bit to uh, get some more chicken broth, some more jello. Uh. Ah, the joys of a liquid diet. <laughs> he just kills him instantly with that missile. Okay. Uh... I have the potion. First day. I'll heal Max with that potion. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Um, Liquid Bots and Pinchot. I don't know. That's a good question. Gravy. No, oh, that's a pretty good answer. We got him. He blew up. My son, is he doing well at Chivico House? That was Watanabe's. You! Idiot! Let's get out of here! Do you want to fight their entire army? Yeah. Do you think you can let you lie, live now that you know our secret? Nah, I see. Sindarin. So, Commander Yamazaki's helping him. And Kumotatsu from the Odeo Temple, too. Uh, isn't there some way to stop him? Ah, Bariki Dayo? Hmm? Who's Bariki Dayo? Hmm, the ancient mech Bariki Dayo, a saint from ancient Babylon, is said to have controlled it long ago with psychokinesis. A, a robot? Awesome! Hey, control Bariki Dayo with your psychic powers! Smash up the bad guys! I'm sorry. Continue. Unfortunately, Pyroto can't do it. Is there another way? Ah, yeah, Psycho, what's it? No. If we injected a liquefied human, it might be possible to activate it like we do with Taro. Yeah. I'll get lots of red eared turtles. Oh, it's no good. Morika Tayo is powered by the spirit. Turn me into a liquefied human. What? What? Don't be stupid. I know. I can't be healed now, but if I become a liquefied human, I can be with you guys forever. Please. Ah, don't be stupid. There's no reason to get involved in this stupid incident. Well, 
Yeah, I guess I'll try it. But you can't. <laughs> Us bikers don't know the meaning of the word impossible. Man, Matsu, I'll show you how it's done. Hey, wait, my inventions! Hey, I'll ride in Bariki Dio. What, Misawa, you know what? Save us, Misawa. Let me see here for a second. I think we have to go chase down Toy. Uh... Okay, where is he? Oh, don't talk about beef right now. I won't be able to eat it for another two and a half months. That's actually being generous. I, it's it's uh, two and three quarters. Can't drink soda. Can't have beer. Hey, in five days I'll be able to eat uh, uh, eggs again. That'll be nice. Hey, we hit level 11. More psychic powers. Frozen images. Oh, somebody ambushed us. Okay. There's a wall of trash can dudes. Alright. Ready to find out where Matsu's gone? Mm. 
Hmm, how does this thing work? The Matsu guy really strutted his stuff. He went to go drink after not being able to move it. Alright, so we have to find that bar again. Matsu's getting wasted. Hey, Adam. Still there? Yep, I'm still here. Not sure how much longer I'm going. Uh, maybe ten minutes. We're actually... We are reaching the end of this chapter of the game, but I don't think we're going to be able to finish it tonight. What, did you come here to laugh at me? <laughs> Couldn't do anything after all. Damn it! If only I had something to raise my spiritual strength. These shrooms will clear your mind. But Tango! And that sound means something bad is happening to the orphanage. So Taiko and Kaori are still trapped in there. The Crusaders started fire. Taiko went in to save Kaori. I'll go. Everyone else, run! Taiko! Kaori! Let me go! Ouch. Alright. So I think we have to... Ah. Paruto! I'll save Kaori. Go outside. Alright, so she's not in here. We have to check every room, I think. Well, the last room we check is always going to be the one she's in. Not in laundry room. Bathroom. No, it's not a panty raid. This is definitely not a panty raid. Panty raids don't usually involve things being set on fire. I'm trying to think how do we find her. I thought she would be in the last room. in the kids. I mean, that's the room she's going to be in. We have to... Hmm. Yes, if you are setting fires to things, then you're definitely doing the panty rape. Not that I am an expert on pro proper panty rape.
Oh, there we go. We can go this way around. All right, so now we've visited the toilet. Maybe that'll do it. Yep, okay. There she is. All right, so we're gonna drag her, try to drag her out of here. Oh, brother, are you okay? It's collapsing. I've come to activate Buriki Dial. What? Not after last time. This time I won't fail. Now let me on! No? Oh, what? That's Batongo. If you take that much, you'll die! With the power of ancient times! I think there's a reference here, because there was a Toei Films production called Matango, made by the director of Godzilla, about a bunch of people who get trapped on an island with uh, mushrooms that turn them into horrible mushroom mutant people. Anyway, Matsu has uh, eaten magic shrooms to give himself psychic powers temporarily. I would actually recommend seeing uh, Matango. It was a good movie. Um, today I have something important to say to you. Uh, what is it, baby? I I'm sorry, up until now I've been a terrible woman. Then, then you'll... Of course! Reiko! Yoshikazu! It's kind of funny, every time this guy game plays that music, that happy sappy sounding music you know whoever you are you're seeing declaring their love is about to die Weak. you you liar Here we go! Are, are you all right? on my tongue and amplified his spirit. Fool, you're gonna die! 
No, I ain't gonna die. As long as we have Boriki Dio, and Matsu ain't dead. That you are hiding something like this will get you. And thus Matsu will die. He will confess to us. <laughs> Kenichi! Your old man and I, we were enemies. He will confess his responsibility in our father's death. Back then... <clears throat> I was the leader of the Crusaders. He was the captain of the riot police. And Japan was in a state of confusion over the new technology of the army. We both had our hands full, trying to keep our subordinates from taking their to their heels. Cease this idiocy and work together with the army. I don't want any more deaths. Ah, don't be stupid. You've been fooled. Do you think the army will fold just because of your insignificant resistance? Grow up, Matsu. Ah, so you're Yamazaki's dog after all. I didn't want to do this. Sorry, but you have to die. I pulled the trigger just an instant before him. No matter how much I tried to make amends, you would not forgive me. Matsu! Kanichi! Kanichi, wake up! I'm not dead yet! Baroto, let's go to the temple, and let's bust him up! No, don't go! Go to Ori, you need rest! <clears throat> ah, quit bugging me! Women always get in the way. Right? This is the end. What? Why? Get off. Everyone off. isn't dead. This? As long as we have Buriki Tayo! Alright. Peralta, you, you're moving it? Here we go, folks. Here we go, Matsu. To the Odeo Temple. 
I'll show you how it's done. Come on! In the name of the army! I will defeat you! Can you say squish? I'm sorry, what was that? Pyropus, Tommy, Adam, you in there for the finale here? Who else is watching? I guess giant robot traffic did get backed up, yeah. I think we found this giant space fortress's weakness. Kicks. Humans melted together with other humans into one being, sharing both mind and body, and hatred? A superb world without fighting. In order to gain that, there one, one must abandon the impure flesh. 
Ah, well, you wouldn't understand. The 2,000th liquefied human has been sacrificed. The water of this temple's pond. It's 60,000 liters of liquefied humans. <laughs> Here comes Odio. Komotatsu. Garoo! You've come. Now the Inko Great Buddha statue will be our salvation. Master Odio arrives. Okay, I'm paralyzed for now. I can't move my legs. Baby lion. Uh, Babylon kick, I think, is what they were going for. Yeah, we don't even know how much HP we have in this fight, so it's a kind of interesting. <laughs> Alright, he broke my leg again. And my hands. Hope everyone likes this mu music. This is actually the boss music for every chapter, the final boss of each chapter. Every time you encounter Odio, this is his theme. Alright, Odio. We've taken down one incarnation of Odio. So now all the liquid humans want revenge on the three people who doomed them. The uh, liquefied humans! Master Inko! Be happy. You'll also become one with them. They're, they're gonna swallow Bariki Dio too? C crap! Ouch! 
All right. Well, this went a little over time-wise, but I, I'll I'll be okay. It's not like my meals take long to make. Not right now, they don't. Hey, hey! Hey! Stop loafing around and cook some taiyaki. Huh? No. Yeah, okay. Kazuhiko Shimamoto. Yeah, let me look that up. Okay, yeah, he he not he's not the guy who did BB. He's the guy who did uh, uh, Hono no Tenkosai, uh, which is the Blazing Transfer Student. Uh, I think that one's actually on Netflix now, the live action version of it. But that's the one about the the kid who transfers from school to school and winds up in a school where everything's settled through boxing mark matches. He was also hired uh, to do the re uh, reboot of Skull Man. Uh, I think Shotaro Ishinomura uh, chose him uh, personally. Yeah, what a ride, Adam, huh? I want a Buriki dial. Yeah, I think there's a live-action version of Blazing Transfer Student on Netflix. Oh, if you check the credits on this game, I think, um... On several of these, uh, stories, uh... Uh, Yasunori Mitsuda got some of his first credits before he started working on, uh, Chrono Trigger. Um, he did some of the programming for, uh, like, sound effects and stuff, but, um, all the music is written by Yoko Shimimura. So Matsu has unfortunately passed away, so we get his bike. Alright, so we save here. It saves that we finish that chapter. And now we get to pick one of the remaining six for our next one. So uh, maybe we'll pick this up next week. Uh, thanks, everybody who's still left standing. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think I'll probably pick this up again next Friday, maybe. Hopefully I'll be in a better mood then, too, because I'll be eating solid foods. Um, <laughs> well, I hope everyone enjoyed this, and, and I'll see ya. Uh, I'm, coming, I'm coming back tomorrow. I'm going to pick a different game for tomorrow. Um... Hopefully a good one. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night. <laughs>